Uniformly continuous functors will be seen to preserve more than just limits in categories which are not complete. These limit-like structures are weak limits and prelimits. We start by letting D be a diagram in A. Then a cone PI on D is a weak limit for D if and only if for each cone QI on D there exists an amorphism H such that PIH is equal to QI for each I. Note that H is not required to be unique. We also have that a set of cones PJI is a prelimit for D if and only if for each cone QI on D there is an index J and an amorphism H from A to PJ such that PJI H is equal to QI for each I. Then we say a category A is weakly complete, respectively pre-complete, if and only if A has weak limits, respectively pre-limits, for each diagram in A. We recall that a monic source is a discrete cone, PI, such that for each parallel pair of amorphisms, G and H, if PI G is equal to PI H for each I, then G is equal to H. Let's note that limits are weak limits, which are prelimits. A limit is a weak limit without uniqueness, and a weak limit is a prelimit where J is just a singleton set. We start with a lemma. A functor G, which preserves weak limits, also preserves monic sources. To prove this, let PI be a monic source in A. We define a small category I to have an object set equal to I union the two element set X1, X2, and let the only non-identity arrows be from X1 to I, X2 to I for each I. Then we define the diagram D by sending one of these non-identity morphisms X1 or 2 to I to the A morphism PI from A to AI. So the diagram takes the following shape in the category A. You can see that we have two copies of the monic source with overlapping codomain. Note that A is a weak limit for D. To verify this, let QI union G1 and G2 be a cone on D, as indicated in the diagram. Then if the two sources are equal, forgetting for the moment that PI is a monic source, we have G1 is equal to G2 if and only if a is a weak limit for D. Therefore, if it is a weak limit for D, which it is since we're going to assume that PI is a monic source, then G preserves it and we have the following diagram is a weak limit in the category B. But by our observation above, this implies GPI is a monic source and that completes the proof. This leads us to the following result. A functor G which preserves weak limits also preserves limits. For the proof, we let D be a diagram in A and let PI be the limit of D. Then GPI is a weak limit of GD since G preserves weak limits. However, since limits are the same as weak limits, which also are monic sources, GPI is also a monic source by the previous lemma. Therefore, GPI is a limit of GD. We can then also prove the following. A functor G, which preserves prelimits, also preserves weak limits. This follows since weak limits are singleton prelimits. And as a corollary, we have a functor which preserves prelimits, preserves limits. And that concludes this section.